Hey, Jason Resnick, res with three z's.com. And if you're a Notion user like myself uh, and you come from another productivity tool or that you, you know, you just always want to quickly be able to add anything into Notion from any application, not just the browser, uh, this video is for you because what, what I'm going to describe and show you how to do is to set up the quick add functionality that you do find in multiple other productivity tools like OmniFocus, like Todoist, like Things, and so on and so forth. So let's dive in here, uh, get myself out of the way here, um, and we'll dive in. First things first is all of this you have to set up inside of Chrome. So even if it's you know not your browser of choice, this is kind of the, the foundation part of this. So uh, first things first is if you have to install the Notion Web Clipper in Chrome. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and do that. And the next step is it, we're going to first invoke the uh, tool, right? So the, the extension. So click on the icon and then click inspect. Now, this is going to get a little technical here, but the five minutes that you it takes to do this, it's gonna save you a boatload of time. Just know it because you know if you're into productivity, every second counts, right? So with that being said, uh, when this shows up, like I said, it's going to be a little technical, but what we're going to do is we're actually just going to grab the location of the Chrome extension. And you do that by typing, first going to console and typing in location.href and then hit enter, right? And so now what you're gonna see there is what looks to be like a URL. And as I said, it's the location of the Chrome extension really. And <clears throat> right click on that and open a new tab. Okay, so you could see that it looks pretty much the same as this, right? Um, so next things is to, in your address bar, go all the way over to the right and you'll get to see three dots uh, and click on that and then click up and then go to more tools and then create as shortcut. Now what we're doing here is we're actually creating the shortcut in our Google apps because that's what we are invoking here, right? So you can name it anything you want. I like notion quick ad. And then the important piece of this puzzle right now is open as window needs to be checked. Click on create <clears throat> and you can see that it was invoked here. Okay. So now that it's done, we want to make sure that we have it, um, that it works. Right. And so you do that by just checking your Chrome apps, right? And you could type in Chrome colon slash slash apps, and you should see the icon there. Okay. Um, now we have the Chrome app. Um, <clears throat> Next thing is, is we want to make this available to our entire desktop, laptop, whatever. We want to make it to, to the whole system, right? So we do that by first validating that we had open as window checked off, we, which we do. We create another shortcut, right? And so what that's going to do is now make that available to me across my entire desktop. And I can validate that by, I use it, I'm on a Mac, so I use a tool called Alfred. And if I type in Notion, I should see both the app that I have as well as the Notion Quick Ad, which I just did, and be able to invoke it. That's it. And essentially, you're done. Now, the pro tip here for most productivity uh, geeks and nerds out there is shortcut keys, right? And so for me, um, I don't want to have an icon. I don't want to have to go searching for this. I, don't, I mean, Alfred's pretty quick. Right, I could even type quick add and it starts to learn that what I'm looking for is this after a certain amount of time. But I don't even want to do that. I just want to be able to invoke the shortcut key. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to load up Alfred again. Um, <clears throat> let me move myself over and I'm going to create a shortcut key inside of Alfred. So I could do that by using workflows and 
So when I open up the preference, I can go over in the icons over on the left, click on workflows, and then click on this plus. And I'm creating a blank workflow. So I'm going to just say quick add to Notion. The rest of it doesn't matter. I'm not sharing it with anybody. It's my quick, it's my keyboard shortcut, right? And then what I'm going to do is right click and select triggers and hotkey. Um, for me, I like option shift A. It's just how my fingers work. It could be anything. It doesn't matter to you. Whatever works for you that you're going to remember, click on save. And then what I'm going to do is insert after, right click again on this icon where I just created the hotkey. And then I'm going to select actions and launch the app. Right? And this window comes up. What's nice is that all I need to do is just drag the application icon over into that and Notion puts it there. Right? Um, click on save and now my shortcut key is there. So let's test it out. So if I click on op, if I hold option shift A, boom, opens up, right? So let me close out all of this and just to kind of cl close up the loop here, if I'm on a call with a client and now all of a sudden a task comes up, I could say, hey, let's send out an email on Tuesday, right? And it works exactly as the web clipper is. And you could see inside of my notion that task is created. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Please leave any comments below. If you have a quicker workaround uh, notion, I would love a quick add functionality in it. I don't know if it's on the roadmap, but if you happen to catch this, uh, please let's fight it. Let's get that feature fight going. So, um, because there are some limitations to this, like URLs and embedding and things like that. So, um, you know, it is what it is and it allows me to be more productive inside a note.